This image is of simple squamous epithelia. It can be identified as epithelia because of the spaces around the cells. These are the air sacs of the lungs, and epithelia face the spaces which exit out the body, such as those of the respiratory system. These are squamous cells because of how flat they are. They are flattened cells, and their nucleus is disc-shaped. This is a simple epithelia because there is only one layer of cells. If it were stratified, there would be multiple layers of cells, and clearly that is not the case. So this is an example of simple squamous epithelia. This tissue is an example of simple cuboidal epithelia. It is epithelia because there are spaces around the cells, and these spaces and this tissue of the renal tubule ultimately connect with the outside of the body. The cells are cuboidal in shape. They are more or less squarish and have a round nucleus. These are cuboidal cells. And finally, this is a simple epithelium. There is only one layer of these simple cuboidal cells. It is not stratified because there are not multiple layers of these cells. So this is an example of simple cuboidal epithelia. This image is of simple columnar epithelia of the small intestine. It is epithelia because you can see the spaces around the cells. This is the lumen of the small intestine, and epithelia line the tracts which exit the body. These are columnar cells. They are tall and rectangular, and their nucleus is elliptical or oblong instead of being circular. So these are columnar cells. This is a simple epithelium rather than a stratified epithelium. If it were stratified, there would be multiple layers of cells, and clearly that is not the case. So this is an example of simple columnar epithelium.